Prisma developed the desire to improve talents, potential, employability, and even wealth. Anytime you are consciously, consciously making an effort to improve yourself, you are practicing a personal development. So anytime you look at yourself and you say, I need to improve myself. Guess what you guys are doing here today? I need to improve myself. I need to move on with my life. I have uh, this type of, uh, uh, I'm doing this wrong. So I need to improve myself. Every time that you think and you move on and you start learning new things and, and become somebody better, that's a self-development. So anything, everything that I showed you before is not going to work. If you're still a bad parent, if you're still a bad daughter, you guys are bad daughters. <laughs> If he's still a bad daughter, if he's still a bad boss, if he's still a bad co-worker, if you're not good with your kids, if you're not good with money, if you're not good with haircuts, if you're not good with this and that, everything that I show you is not going to work. You need to embrace, look at what you're good at, what you're bad at, what is your weakness, what is your strength, what I have to do next. Yes. To be able to have something, you have to become that thing. If you don't change, nothing will change. Exactly like that. Let's, uh, I'm going to give you an example, right? To have a million dollars, you have to become a millionaire first. Because if, if today the money from the whole world, the, the earth, you give the money and, and it's split exactly the same portion for, for everybody. You get 30%, you get 30%, you get 30%, you get 30%, I get 30 my wife get 30%. The richest guy only stay with 30 the poorest people will stay with 30 In In about three to five years, <clears throat> what do you guys think is going to happen? The poor will become more poor, the rich become richer. The money that was divided to the poor is not because they are poor money wise but because they are poor here the money is going to go back to the same hands is because they didn't become a millionaire so that's what i'm explaining here if you want to become a good barber you have to open your mind and say okay i want to become a good bar techniques just come and go you learn easy but here needs to change first everything here needs to change first before anything else the first thing we need to start uh, doing is our personal development is understand that we are not in the haircut business. We are in the relationship business. It comes your question, Rosalita. We are not in the haircut business anymore. Since 2013, people come to barbershops, cut hair, go, good. But today, you ha we have to have that social skills because the client comes to you for a haircut for us. But then next time, they don't come for the haircut anymore. Because somebody in your shop cut better than, than the other. Across the street, there's many good barbers that cut better than my barbers, cut better than me. So they come because of you. If you don't tell them, if you don't talk to them and show who you are, how good, how nice you are, how, ex how expert you are in what you're doing, create that bond, that relationship, he's coming back, he's not going to come back. To, to, that goes for your, uh, your, your employees, your uh, people that work for you. They start working for you because they think, oh, nice, cool, clean, organized shop. Uh, the money is good, a nice location. But they don't stay working for you because of the money anymore. They stay with you because of the, the hierarchy, the environment, you from your heart, from the people. That, that's how they stay working for you. They stay for longer because of you. As a professional barbers, we have to an obligation at least to deliver a great haircut. But just being good at barbering, knowing, being good at barber and knowing how to cut hair is not enough to succeed in our profession anymore. So everything starts and ends with ourselves, our decision, and how badly we, we want to achieve our goals and desires in life. And the percentage of effort and focus we put into what we want, we are responsible for our own success and also for our failures become accountable and stop victimizing yourself you know when you guys uh you you had uh employees at barbers that you already told him like something hey, you make this you make this wrong and they don't get their responsibility and they will never learn so that's when comes accountability
when you're accountable, it means like you're doing something wrong and you embrace and say, okay, that's my fault. What can I do better? And then you create that uh, mentality that, okay, I need to improve. If you don't have that, you're not going to get better because you think you're already good. You know? Our battle will always be against ourselves. What are your greatest desires, dreams and goals, personal or, or, or uh, professional? What do you do in your free times? What do you do in your free time? Days off, after work, and before work. So we're going to do a little uh, illustration here, okay? I'm going to start with the boss, okay? So sometimes we think we are in the right direction, right? Or we want, uh, we have dreams. Let's say I want to buy a mansion or a Ferrari or... Uh, I want to have 10 barbershops all over the country. But your actions is not saying you want that. Because your actions is saying, I'm going here, and then my dream is this way. So those distractions, we need to realize ourselves. What I'm doing is accurate to what I want in the future. Luis, what is your biggest dream in your life? The biggest dream, say anything, professional or anything you want so my biggest dream is to create a family mm -hmm. this tractions and dreams right so after work what do you do after work every day and rest yes so one point for the distractions because during the time you cut in hair you're not able to think or work on your project, on the future project, the yeah. product, whatever you want to do. So you're already in this way. Your dreams is this way. Okay. So after work is the time that we have to work more towards another project. Yeah. Because the, the eight to five work job is only you will pay the bills. After that, it's really once you, it's where you need to put the focus on and work harder than anybody else. To achieve your dreams so that's the thing sometimes you have your dreams you have your goals yeah. and the actions what we choose to do today what is going to reflect in the future yeah. and that's what happened with us sometimes i want to buy that house i want to buy that mansion in parkland you know what happened to last night i went to party i spent my money so i have the dream but i'm going this direction that's what i want to explain to you